Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo Idea Center 310S. The exact model will be below in the description. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your storage. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your power cord. Okay, so I'm going to unscrew this screw here and this screw here to take off this panel. After that, you can grab this panel right here and pull it and it releases. To get the front panel off, there's these three black clips. We're gonna pull out that one, pull out that one, pull out that one. Lift up the computer a little bit and the front face can come off. As a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there will be a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement parts for this computer. To get this component up to access the internal components, we're gonna push on this blue tab. There's an arrow on the tab, also an arrow here on the metal. You're gonna push that in, and then this pops up like that. And that releases your hard drive and gets you full access to this area. So this right here is a 3.5 inch SATA hard drive. Many of you will have a 500 gigabyte 3.5 inch hard drive stock in your computer like this one did. It can be upgraded to the max of two terabytes or you can do a 256 gigabyte solid state drive in an adapter. So if you're here to just replace a bad one or if you wanna upgrade while you're at it, Below in the description, in that link I told you about with all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer, I will include a 3.5 inch, one terabyte hard drive if you're just looking to replace. I'll include a two terabyte hard drive if you're looking to have a little bit of an upgrade. And if you really wanna upgrade, I'll include an adapter along with a 2.5 inch, 256 gigabyte solid state drive that'll give you kind of the max upgrade for your storage. The way to access this hard drive, you have two screws here, two more screws on the other side, and you want to unplug all of these first. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Now that all four screws have been removed, you can take that hard drive right out like that. I guess the last thing to mention about this kind of an operation, if you do install a new drive to your computer, you most likely will need to install an operating system onto it for your computer to function. If you would like help with that, I will have two video links below in the description. One will show you how to install Windows 10, the other will show you how to install Windows 11. Also keep in mind, if you have data on your old drive that may be bad or unusable, there's still a good chance you can recover data from bad drives. I will have more information about that below in the description as well. But that's the end of this instructional video. I hope it was helpful. Please like and share if it was, if you think it can help someone else. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content, or if you wanna keep me on hand to answer any future questions, I do answer all questions at least a couple times a day. Remember though, if you do have a question, check out the FAQs in the description first. It could save you some time waiting for an answer. Thank you so much everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.